Well, when it comes to protecting wealth, you actually look at the next generation up, right? And not that it's going to happen all the time, but you know, the, the example you gave is about divorce and how that has an impact as well. So we do know, you know divorce rates are around a 50% mark at the moment, which is quite high. So you actually do take into account events that may or may not happen, but you're taking into account a higher probability events happening and you're making decisions now as to how we can protect those assets now, especially when it comes down to uh, passing those assets on to the next generation.